The stories revolving around ancient humans can be just as scary as they are interesting. However, what is modern life without a little bit of curiosity? Every day, scientists are making new discoveries that challenge us to rethink our perspectives and what we really know. What you are about to hear today might just change how you view the world for good. Who knows, perhaps one day these mysteries might just rewrite the status quo of human history. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three interesting discoveries from around the world. Rethinking the Neanderthal Cave in France When you think about a Neanderthal, what first comes to your mind? Perhaps an ancient and unintelligent human? Well, you might want to think the latter part. Deep underground, scientists were able to discover some dark caves in France's Aveyron Valley. However, they were not just any regular caves. They were man-made structures over 176 thousand years old, which was about 150,000 years older than any structure that had been uncovered before. That could only mean one thing, they were built by none other than the Neanderthal. This fascinating discovery changes the entire way that we see these ancient hominids. Whereas we previously associated them more closely with primates than humans, it turns out that they might be closer to us than we expected. But just how was it determined that Neanderthals were capable of building such caves? It all started in 1990, when explorer Bruno Kowalszewski squeezed through a tunnel to arrive at the Brunekel Cave. After crossing animal bones and water pools in their path, he finally stumbled upon a startling scene of crushed-up staglomites that were arranged into two ring shapes. All around these rings were indications of burnt bones. Immediately, he suspected that this was not naturally occurring. But when did this exactly take place? The carbon dating of a burnt bare bone revealed that it was about 47,600 years ago, which made it older than any discovered cave painting. Though it seemed impossible, that put it right in the age of the Neanderthal. To further prove this, another cave lover named Sophie Verhaden decided to uranium date the stalagmites. It turns out that the stalagmites were crushed up by people more than 176,000 years ago, which was further back than anyone had anticipated. While it was never determined what these Neanderthals were trying to do, it was evident that they used fire, were capable of building things, and most likely had tools by their side. Suddenly, they might look a lot more familiar and less unintelligent than before. Perhaps humans were never so different from the humble Neanderthal after all. An Italian Witch Burial in Italy Anyone who knows history knows that witches were not particularly favoured back in the ancient days. Even though people dress up as witches with costumes in the modern era, they were taken seriously back then with fatal consequences. Take this recent discovery, for instance, where archaeologists had uncovered the 800-year-old remains of a witch that was buried back in the Middle Ages. What they first noticed about the skeleton was that seven nails were lodged into the victim's jawbone. Soon, the scientists found themselves situated in a witch's graveyard. Another skeleton nearby was found surrounded by 17 dice, which was a game that no women were allowed to play during those ages. It does not help the situation that the number 17 was considered unlucky in Italy as well. Those bone-chilling circumstances suggest she lost her life on the spot. On top of that, these women were young, around 25 to 30 years old. Despite their age, their bodies were not placed in any coffins or shrouds near the town of Piombino in Italy's Tuscany region. The situation in which they were found gives rise to the idea that they were accused of witchcraft. Though one woman's remains already had nails through her jaw, additional nails were found on her clothes, which pinned her to the ground. This was perhaps due to local fears that she would somehow use her evil powers to rise up from her and haunt the town. In an attempt to cure these women of their witchcraft or somehow cleanse them, 
The way they were buried indicates that rituals were performed on them. Yet, one lingering question remains. If these women supposedly had evil powers, why were they buried in consecrated Christian ground? One plausible guess is that these women came from powerful families above the peasant class, so influence was able to gain them their last resting spots on holy ground. However, even though their bodies were laid to rest, it is easy to imagine how restless their souls were moments before their last breath. Hundreds of innocent women who were caught up in the wrong place at the wrong time had their lives cut short due to bad luck and the fate of these two women was not any different. Medieval Drilled Skull In today's world, anyone with a disability can get access to treatment and support to help them in their challenges. However, this was not the same in the ancient days. To those in the Middle Ages, anyone with a deformity of sorts was suspected to be evil and plagued by spirits. This was no more apparent than the case of the medieval male skeleton that was found in the English countryside. His lower jaw on the left side had been deformed before his bones could fully fuse as a child. That in turn would distort his face, which might have been scary looking to any people he encountered. Accused of harboring evil spirits, the man with the facial deformity likely passed away in his thirties and was buried without his right hand or several foot bones. In the case of the missing limbs, it was most likely due to several visits grave robbers took to his remains. However, the most notable thing about his skeleton was that his skull had been trepanned. In other words, drilled through, perhaps to relieve his pain or to exercise the bad spirits. Thankfully, he survived and his bone area had healed but that did little to fully relieve his community that he was entirely pure. In the end, he was buried in a lonely place without a coffin. Instead of facing up, he was buried face down and even had stones pressed on top of his body, despite the dirt covering him from above. Most likely, the townspeople wanted to ensure that he never rose from the grave and that all his evil troubles were kept as far away as possible. Due to this treatment, it is easy to wonder what type of life this man might have led. Perhaps it is even more intriguing to wonder how such a drilling procedure would have taken place back in the Middle Ages. No matter what strikes your curiosity about this case, there is no doubt about it that it is full of mystery and wonder. At the end of the day, only one thing is for sure. People in the Middle Ages were obsessed with witches and evil spirits. But what do you make of these discoveries that have been unearthed? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.